We're going to be looking at another case today. This is another broken file removal. Uh, tooth number 46, separated instrument in the mesial lingual canal. This case was referred to us to remove the separated piece and take care of the infection. Before we get into it, I just want to say this is not an easy procedure. This file is deep inside the canal and I can guarantee you it's wedged in there pretty well, which is why it broke off in the first place. If this is something you're not comfortable tackling, then refer the case out or call your endodontist for help. Okay, so what's our game plan here? So first of all, we've decided we're only going to be treating the mesial root of the tooth. There's not enough evidence to say there's infection on the distal root, so the decision was made to leave the distal root alone. Second, we're going to be cleaning the gutta perca coronal to the broken instrument, as well as in the mesial buccal canal, which doesn't have an obstruction. Next, we're going to try to obtain straight line access and visualize the file directly. Then we're going to be creating a plateau above this file to allow our instruments access. Next, we're going to try to bypass the file if possible. So we're going to be using small hand files, sixes and eights, to bypass this file and create some space on either side. Then, using the Trefine Burr from the IRS kit, we're going to create a 1.5 to 2 millimeter clearance around the head of the file. This will provide enough space to allow the IRS to grab onto the file and hopefully pull it out. Once we get a clear view of the file, the first thing we will always want to try to do is bypass the file. So we're going to see if we can work small hand files, uh, 6, 8s and 10s alongside this file to gain patency. Now this lets you do a couple things. One is it'll help loosen the file. So you may get a little bit of movement and it, you know you might get surprised and the file might come out. Um, the other thing it does, if you're not able to remove this instrument, you can still complete the case. You can still get past the file and debride the apical portion of the canal using hand files and setting up a chloride so the case could still be successful. So always try to bypass it first. I think it adds a lot of benefit, but uh, you know, don't spend too much time. You know, get a file. I, I was able to get a file on both sides of the, the separated instrument here. And once that was done, you can move on to the um, trefine burr and, and create a little trough around this file. Next, you can use a, a thin, long ultrasonic tip to try to loosen the file a little bit. So here I'm using an ET25 ultrasonic tip at a medium to low setting, and I'm simultaneously uh, trying to loosen the file and remove a little bit of uh, tooth structure on the inside aspect of the curvature. Just a word of caution here, increasing the power on the ultrasonic will cause the file to break again, so you'll have a smaller portion of the file remaining in the tooth, and this can make removing the instrument much, much more difficult. So avoid temptation and keep the setting very low. And rinse with your irrigation solution frequently to avoid causing the tooth structure to overheat. This took me quite a bit of time before I gave up, so I'm going to fast forward through the next part. At this point, I'm satisfied I'm not going to be able to remove this file with the ultrasonic. It's not all lost cause though, because we did create about a millimeter trough around this file. Um, you can see from this photo, it's on, on three sides of the file. I was able to remove two structure, but uh, not on the exterior part of the curvature, which is on your left hand side. We're going to move on to the IRS system now. So the first step is to select the appropriate IRS core drill. This is trial and error, so you kind of try them in and see what works. In our case, the red core drill was ideal. It fit nicely over top of the, the head of that separated instrument. And in a clockwise watch wind motion, uh, you rotate the core, core drill until you create enough space around that file that you can grab onto it with the next part. I'm not fast forwarding through this part, just so you can get a sense of how long it takes to create this trough.
So I still don't think I have enough uh, file exposed at this time. So I'm going to go back at it one more time with the core drill. Now, when we're ready, we're gonna place the corresponding instrument assembly over top of the, the exposed instrument. And we're gonna be turning the screw wedge in a counterclockwise direction. We're gonna rotate it until we feel it engaging the file. So it'll become securely locked in place. Then, as we continue to turn in a counterclockwise direction, you pull up on the file and hopefully it comes out of the canal. In this case, I was quite surprised how much force it took to remove this instrument. So after the screw wedge became engaged, I had to put so much force on it that I was worried the handle was gonna come off of the IRS or, uh, or something would give. But thankfully the file came out. That about wraps it up. From here on in, there's not too much more to do, so we just need to uh, clean, clean shape and fill these canals and, uh, and follow up with the patient long-term and see how this heals. I placed a link to the IRS system as well as the instruction manual in the comments. If you have any questions or if there's anything else you wanna chat about, please leave a note below. Thank you.